Matt, looking forward to uh, an entertaining game, hopefully against Bolton on Saturday. Let's start with with some team news. Any any players back for the weekend? Um, potentially in, in, in form of Jack Hunt. Um, first day back on the grass today um, in the team capacity. Um, it's just whether or not we can push him towards the weekend or we wait till Tuesday or, or the following week. So, But he looked bright today. He moved really well. Um, always signs you look for when a player is coming back into it on the back of just individual work for a period of time. Um, so great to have him back and getting closer to availability. And we'll make a decision tomorrow, if not Saturday morning, in relation to that one. And is Camille back in the reckoning for the weekend? Yes, yeah, he's, he's refreshed, he's rebooted, um, he looks in a good condition. Um, so in terms of him going back into the fold, it's great to have a, a, a body like his um, back in the mix. Um, but hopefully that body will be firing on, on, on all cylinders um, and he'll be playing to his absolute maximum. So looking forward to seeing him back on the pitch um, in whatever capacity and strengthening the squad. You'd like to have beaten Shrewsbury, I'm sure, but you did keep a clean sheet and get a point. What are you looking to build on now? going into what will be a tough game on Saturday. Yeah, well, we know that game in terms of the, the strength of the opposition. Um, disappointing not to take three points on, on Monday. Um, defended well enough to, to keep that clean sheet, um, but just didn't quite take those chances which, which fell our way. Um, and that's that's the last bit of the that jigsaw on Monday. But it's been a, a strange run of six games because we've kept three clean sheets in those six games, which... We know we spoke at length about that and we've, we're so pleased with that. But then in the other games, we conceded 10 goals um, and failed to score for too long now, um, even in the games we've created chances in. So we're trying to find the right balance. Um, I, I thought the, the performance and intent of the team was much improved on Monday and we were only lacking that goal because we know what the first goal does in terms of changing the opposition. But also, first goals against us really flatten us at the moment because um, confidence is a little bit low as well so something to build from um, and this weekend's a, a totally different game because of the quality of the opposition Yeah, I'll ask you about your attacking options in a moment but um, Jed in, in goal signing his new contract which we talked about last week how's he performing generally? Um, it's, it's not been easy has it been thrown in young it could have gone horribly wrong but he's, he's, he's acquitted himself well He has, he has um, I've said this there's no pressure on, on Jed whatsoever he's, he's got to find a way to keep finding enjoyment in, in a pressured environment which is first in football in the public's eye and, and, and there for everyone to, to critique in whatever way they, they see fit we all know football is a game of opinions and everyone's got one um, but I've been so pleased with Jed um, because he's he's coming and he's performed well there'll always be inconsistencies in anyone's game let alone a young goalkeeper who's not had the experience which would have given him the best preparation for League One football you know probably a third of the season National League level isn't enough and then obviously the academy before that so no, he's been thrown in the deep end. Um, but in terms of his composure alongside his actual skill set, um, I think that's been a massive plus for this football club because he's now an asset. And people will be taking note because there's not many keepers of that age um, getting the game time that he is alongside the international recognition he's had recently. Probably unfair to ask you in April if you'll be your number one goalkeeper next season. But would you like to at least go into pre-season knowing the answer to that question? Well, yes, in terms of knowing the answer to the question. As a manager, you want to have a, 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 an understanding of what's expected in terms of certain positions and, and where you see the strength in relation to that. But what happens in the next six games and the next four weeks of the season will also give us a better indication of, of where some players are, regardless of, of, of youth or age or position. Um, so we're still looking at some options in relation to that. But in terms of the longevity of that deal, I think it probably reflects that there's a, a bigger picture for, for Jed. Um, and the expectation is that whatever capacity he's in next season with us or out on loan, he's getting senior football and he's getting more and more experience. And then all of a sudden we might have a 21, 22-year-old who's played close to 100 games. Um, and for a goalkeeper, that is absolutely incredible. And there is, like I've said previously, there's people taking note of his performances. Um, there will still be inconsistencies in the odd moment um, in games, but... This is a massive plus for, for Jed and the football club. How do you get more goals out of the team? Um, keep creating, then putting those creative moments in, in the back of the net. Um, you won't want those first two chances to fall to anyone else and then Chrissy on Monday. Um, and then, you know, Wardy's one I said after the game probably just came a little bit too soon, too soon in terms of his reintroduction back into the group. Um, I don't think Giovanni could do much more, um, hit the post, so we can say a bit unlucky in terms of that. But keep putting the ball in the right areas. Um, we'll be looking at different personnel, different setups, um, different approaches to games. Um, 
it was difficult to to break down a stubborn team at times on on Monday. Um, but we, like I say, we were in a much better place in terms of the substance of the team and the style. At some stage, will, will start to come like it was previously in the season. Um, and if it doesn't come from now until the end of the season, then we've got to make sure our our, our substance, our intent is right, and our work ethic, which I think was there uh, for everyone to see on on Monday. Whether it was Sam's tackling the first minute or Lucas one in the the last minute, we were putting our bodies where they needed to be. Forgive me if you've been asked this question already recently, but in terms of youngsters, uh, is there any temptation to blood any youth between now and the end of the season? Um, there's a temptation there, but this is a, a big squad. Um, I think the bigger temptation or the understanding is um, is that the ones who maybe not had the same game time as the rest in terms of constant exposure will get exposed in terms of what they want in terms of their opportunity and being on the pitch in, in the next six games or the last six games, whichever way you look at it. So there will be some changes in, in relation to that. Um, how we fit them all in at the same time is, is sometimes difficult, but... I don't want anyone um, to be able to say at the end of the season that had a fair opportunity. Um, so it'd be important that whoever's on that team sheet on, on Saturday performs to a certain level um, and then enhances the next opportunity because it's great giving it there, but it's still a performance game um, and we're all judged on that performance. So I um, expect to see a few players um, in the next six games on the pitch who maybe haven't had the game time there recently. But that also goes hand in hand with where they've probably been body-wise as much as anything else. Um, anyone who's not playing consistency, there's probably had a bit of a, a setback or a drawback or an injury at some stage. Inevitably, the narrative will be about Aaron Collins returning to the Mem on Saturday. Got a hat trick last weekend. You worked with him briefly. Um, from your point of view, how much of your focus is on Aaron Collins and how much is on Bolton as a, as a general theme? Well, he's part of a very strong attacking group. Um, right through the team but obviously in terms of uh, the form he's hit recently and the performances he's been involved in and the goals he scored last weekend and him himself so first of all great to see him doing well and we really hope he goes on to be you know the reason why he left his club was to go on and challenge at the top end of this league and to, to get out of the league and play championship football um, so I really hope he does well in relation to that but obviously in terms of returning to your former club um, it's always a, a question which gets asked and it will be answered on the weekend in terms of the way he plays and we play um, but it won't be about Aaron Collins, it will be about two teams going at it, one with aspirations still to get in that, that top two if not then obviously through the playoff route um, and got a really good chance in relation to that and one where we've got to put down a marker of what uh, we want the game to look like at home You did beat them earlier in the season um, is that too long in the, in, the few, in the distant past now to be a, a factor on Saturday? Can you take anything from that performance? Well, you can always take bits and pieces. Um, but one thing that, that they're consistent in terms of the way they build and the way they play and the, the rhythm and, and their style. Um, so we were able to nullify it to a certain extent. Look, things went our way on that day. Um, we, we obviously played well, but we were against 10 men for long periods. We scored a couple of good goals and looked a real threat on the, the counter-attack. Um, but we can't sit in and soak up pressure and just play on the counter-attack, especially at home. We have to try and dictate the running a little bit and dictate the style of the game a little bit more than we have done recently. So um, it'd be interesting because all over the pitch they've got quality um, and they've reinforced certain positions and there's, there's competition across the board in terms of their squad. Um, but this is a game where there should be very little in terms of preparation words and the motivation is there enough to have a, a scalp of a top team at the level.